Hey everybody, welcome back to the podcast. This is episode 24 with... Christy. That guy. Who are you? Philip. Philip. And Dylan. <laughs> I'm Philip. <laughs> so, um, this week we watched um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We actually watched several of them. Yeah. I think, didn't we? Yeah. Well, I kind of got you to watch a couple more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I don't mind but I watching think you those. ended up liking it though so that was yeah, interesting. yeah. That last was week you specifically wanted to watch something that was just one, one movie. movie you didn't want to watch we, 10 movies <laughs> but it was Texas movies. Chainsaw Massacre because your other request was uh, someone with a chainsaw killing people so yeah so here we are so I won <laughs> uh, <laughs> of course we have, we've all seen this a lot but I haven't seen some of the uh, the other ones. Uh, we watched what last night? We watched part three and the original, right? Right. Yeah. And then the night before, I I had you watch part four. Yeah. The next generation. I had him watch part three and four because those are like my favorite sequels out mm-hmm. of all of them. I so. like the Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. And See, uh, and a lot of people don't like that one, but he makes that one. I think. I love that one. Damn. Yeah, it was good. No fucking biggie. I love that. <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love Matthew nice. McConaughey. I I have still haven't seen part four though. Oh, so you don't you haven't seen that? Okay. No, I didn't get a chance to watch it. I watched part three. Okay. Um, one and two I've seen you know forty times right. each at least. So I a uh, one and two I mean I don't know what I just said. Did I say one and two or did I say one and three? You said one and two. And okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen those ones a bunch, and then and then I hadn't seen part three, and I liked it a lot. Oh, good. Yeah, I really like part three. Good. Yeah, I like part three. It's, uh, I don't know, it's a little, I don't know, a little more serious, well, it's way more serious than part two. Two is a little comedic. Uh, so. yeah. I think two is the most comedic out of all of the movies yeah. that have been made um, out of all the Texas, so I don't know. That yeah. one, I guess that one's always been... Because of that, my least favorite. Part two? Actually, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, well, it was until they made the the newer one, the new Leatherface one they just made a few years ago. <laughs> I didn't like that one very much. <laughs> no? Yeah. Is that the one with the like kids? Yeah, the newest one that they just they recently made yeah. a couple of years ago. I'm not good with years and stuff, but it's, I think... It's that, called think, Leatherface. Yeah, I think it's that one be, plays... Like, his origin. It plays here a lot at the store, so I've never seen it like with audio, but I've seen it on a lot. Doesn't seem like I'd like it. Yeah, it's okay. It's not that one, and then um, Texas Chainsaw 3D, where it's the uh, granddaughter or whatever. I mean, they're watchable movies, but they're not like the best in the in the franchise, in my opinion. Uh, the remake's really good. That's where a remake is actually pretty good. The remake of uh, mm. Texas Chainsaw. Have you seen it? Yeah, that was actually... And then the, the beginning? Yeah, well, I haven't seen the beginning, um, but the remake was the first one I ever saw. I saw it in theaters, I think. I remember seeing it in theaters anyways. And I liked it a lot. And then so for the longest time, because I was pretty young when I saw it, I thought that was just Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Like, I didn't really oh, okay, know that there yeah. was an original um, until I was, you know, in my teens or whatever, like high school. And then I saw the original, and then that was the only one that I watched like for a really long time because I mean the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre is one of my favorite horror movies ever made for a long time I would have said that that one was my favorite not so much anymore but it's really really good and then I hadn't watched two ever until like maybe three years ago like pretty recently and I liked part two a lot and then uh yeah I just watched part three last night and now you gotta watch part four yeah now I gotta watch part four I'm excited (laughs) to watch part four I mean I love Matthew McConaughey and so it sounds fun the story of it he thought too and it is is a lot like the first story the original story yeah Mm -hmm. just done in a little bit different way but it's a lot a lot of the same and Mm -hmm. yeah because you'll see stuff happen and you're like this is exactly what happened in the right yeah original yeah just in a different manner or Or different people or whatever Mm -hmm. or something yeah part three seemed like a a cool combination of the first two yeah. It was like they went, they, I mean, and it says in the beginning, basically with like the prologue or whatever, they pretty much ignore part two as a sequel. And it's pretty much just a sequel to the first one, it seems, you know, mm-hmm. but then even that it's, it's just kind of 
we talked about it earlier. It's just yeah. it's still kind of its own thing too. Like it doesn't really have anything to do with the first one, um, other than <clears throat> other than just saying that it's like the same character, you know, and right. that the grandpa or the dad or the dad died or whatever, and then like grandpa's back from you know the first two. So, and it had that uh, it had like a really quick cameo the main girl from the second movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was cool. What's her name? Uh, Caroline Williams. Yeah, Caroline yep. Williams. She's in it for like two seconds. Two seconds. Yeah, you see her. Kinda she just kind of walks by. Mm-hmm. I don't even think she has any lines or anything. Mm-hmm. She's kind of like, oh, that's yeah. cool. Oh, there's, there she is. She yeah. was uh, the the news lady. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I thought that was cool, and and then they had like the little chop top um, reference to the guy that has like the missing hand. He like scratches his head for a second. Yeah. And Grace was already like, nope, and just went on her laptop. Like as soon as <laughs> that shot happened, she was like, I'm oh, done. That's funny. <laughs> She's so scared of Chop Top. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. It's my uh, favorite Ken Foree movie though. I like him in it. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was really I thought it was really good. Um like I think I said on the last podcast I found like an action figure out in the wild of part three and I was like, I've never mm-hmm. seen this, I gotta see it and see if I wanna keep the figure or not. I definitely do. Is it I the eight it inch clothes scary. figure? Yeah. Yeah, I got that too. Yeah. Yeah. That one's really cool. And then I really want um the part two eight inch clothes figure. I can't find that anywhere. I, I saw it at a convention, but it was like ninety dollars and I was like, mm, yeah, no I thanks. Because there's a chop top. Oh yeah, that one's really figure. cool too. And then there's a like a two pack, I guess from the Oh, it's it's it, what what what's his the character's name? Like the, the hitchhiker in the first movie that cuts his hand? Um I'm bad with names I am and too. stuff, but he that that character is so scary in the yeah. first movie to me, and like that whole like picking him up and how he's going crazy and cutting his hand like that's like really creepy. But then in the um, in the second movie, they have like the like decomposed corpse of that character, and so there's a there's a two pack that Neca did of like both of them, like him from the oh, original. Okay. Have you seen that one? I think is that what we had with Nubbins? Is that the one we is that? What you're talking about? Maybe is that his name? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that yeah. two-pack we had? Nubbins like is the. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it, it, it's it's like his dead, like decomposed corpse, yes. and him. And I used, I thought for a long time. We had that. Yeah. Didn't I thought for a long time that two-pack. <laughs> I thought it was Nubbins and Grandpa, but it's not. It, it's Nubbins and mm-hmm. and corpse Nubbins. So I, I I want that one, but it's also super expensive. Yeah. I don't think they make it anymore. Mm-mm. Unfortunately. But. Unfortunately, we don't even have any Texas Chainsaw Massacre products to show. Yeah, we have <laughs> We're out next to no merch. We have like some playing cards. <laughs> oh, we got yeah. pops. Yeah. We had the Funko Pops? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we should have grabbed one of those. Yeah. I guess we should have grabbed that then. Yeah. We're going to take that with us to Cult Classic at the end of the end of the month. Okay, cool. But the Mezco is putting out a 112. Yeah. It's not out yet, but mm-hmm. it is awesome. I can't wait for that yeah, one. I can't wait for it to come out either. It's been a while, actually. Yeah. That. It comes with a lot of accessories and I think yeah. two different outfits. Mm-hmm. Like it has like his apron one and then it has it's his like suit everything. one with the pretty woman mask. So that's really exciting too. So which, like in in the first one, so how old were you when you first watched the first one? Um, I don't know exactly, but I was, I was probably like 13 or so, you know, 13 or 14. Um and yeah as soon as i saw that one it was the only one i watched but it was it was just one of those weird things where i i remembered like the the remake just as that being mm. the movie so it was kind of confusing a for me at first a lot of people did though that around your age yeah. a lot of people did though a lot of people thought that was the only texas chainsaw when that came out right yeah but and, yeah and and even that original i mean the remake texas chainsaw i had seen a really long time ago right and then, so I didn't really, I remembered a lot about it, but I'd only seen it like once or twice. And it just kind of lived in my head as this like, you know, scary movie. It was really right. scary. It is really scary. And so it was a scary movie. And then so I was finally, I was going to watch the original one. And so it was almost like, I was like, oh, this isn't the same movie that I saw, but it's better, like a lot better. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then, so I never watched the remake again until like a couple of years ago when I was kind of getting into, like after I watched part two, then I wanted to watch the remake again, and then uh, and yeah, it's really good too. It's scary. It, it's a lot um, more gory. Has yeah. a lot of nasty stuff, a lot of details, and him like you know like looking through the peephole. Like they make him more of like a sinister, scary character. What yeah. I really like about the original is you kind of hardly see him. He kind of just like 
um, shows he, up in like sh- that shot where he like shuts the door. He seems really more hard. vulnerable and more childlike yeah. in the original. Yeah, which makes him a little more scary. And oh, then you yeah. almost kind of feel bad for him in a mm-hmm. way too. Yeah, yeah, I don't feel that way in the remake. You mm-hmm. know, like you're saying, it's yeah, like he's more sinister. He's more scary. And then they they what was cool about the third one is they sh- they went back to that like childlike thing where you know like where he's typing in like f-o-o-d over and over again on the Mm -hmm. speaking spell and so he's like just a you know like really just dumb child and so he's kind of vulnerable again but then they show more of him and like the opening credit sequence where he's like cutting the like the The skin (laughs) the skin of the mask and like (laughs) sewing it and like oh that stuff's gross yeah and it's it's i mean again i don't like gory stuff um that much but then also i make masks and so like he's like literally he's like doing all this stuff that like i do but to like latex knows he's yeah. like cutting like the <laughs> the trimming and off of it and all that all the flashing and i was just like oh it's so nasty and those <laughs> old like metal scissors and That's stuff funny. and yeah it's gross <laughs> when were you th- when when you first watched it like hmm? how old were you when you first watched it were you I we were young yeah because i think me and patrick watched it somewhere I can't remember now but yeah we were young yeah do you think you saw it in theaters no no um I can't remember how we watched it now somebody I think had a VCR and brought the movie I think but it was I can't even remember how old I was now I think it was me and Patrick watched it together. I was young. I, that was a movie I actually rented from the um, the video store because I was interested. Everybody always talked about Texas Chainsaw and was like, "Ooh, it's the scariest movie." When I was already watching Nightmare on Elm Street and you know slashers and other stuff already, anyway. Um, so I had finally just rented it one day. I'm not, I'm not sure how old I was, but I was young, mm-hmm. like nine ten something like that yeah that's um we were so funny thing for me i thought when i first watched it that i wasn't as impressed as everybody was like making it out to be and then i always kind of thought it was a bit boring the whole first the movie just sent them sitting in that van i don't know I, that, so that just was always boring to me. Um, the last half, when he finally comes out, then it gets more interesting, of course. But uh, I had to grow to like it. So when, when I was a kid, no, it wasn't like one of my most favorites. And I didn't think that it was this big, scary movie like everybody thought it was. So I've grown to like it now, now that I'm an adult, and I love it and have more love for it and can mm-hmm. appreciate it a lot more. Probably um, more patience, too. Yeah, it's, yeah. It is a, a bit of a patience. slow burn in the yeah, beginning. Yeah, it's slow at first. Yeah. Um, but now, and then plus, you know, knowing more about the movie as I've gotten older, um, going into this book, I have this book, this is actually mine. Um, I highly recommend it. I know, have you ever read it or mm-hmm. anything? Um, it's so good. And Gunnar goes into such great detail on them making the movie um, and things that they were doing and stuff. They, they grew pot and <laughs> mm. <laughs> while they're making the movie and um, some other stuff. So I highly recommend that book. Um, if you're a big Leatherface ch- Texas Chainsaw person, so. But yeah, I don't know. I like it now. Um, I have more love for part three and part four. Mm. I think I've seen those more than the original, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. So if I'm like into a Texas Chainsaw Leatherface mood, those are the ones I actually gravitate to more than I do the original. That's just me. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I think so. I think it makes sense because your taste, you like more right. like like you like slashers and stuff. Right. Like, and I think like that part might be three what is, it is. It's, there's a lot of like action in that. Like a lot of like it's pretty pretty quickly gets into them being chased and it's like pretty scary. Like I was telling Philip earlier. Like, um, it had a few jump scares that I was literally like, oh, like, <laughs> like, like, no, God. Like, it was like when you first, when like it's cutting kind of in between like his like leg, you know, like walking up and then like them at the car and that first like jump scare, like the shot of him, like with the chainsaw, mm-hmm. like in the way that they edited that, it really got me. And like, it, it takes a lot to like get me, you know, in a movie now. And I was, I was like, oh no. And then like when he's chasing him around the car, like he's trying to get back into the car and he like hits the chainsaw on like the the rear windshield and stuff and yeah. it's like that was i was like <laughs> oh go get in yeah. go 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 like it's pretty intense and then um 
yeah, the dude from Dawn of the Dead's in it, so that's yeah, really cool. That's cool. And Viggo Mortensen and and with that said, though, I've grown to like part two more now, too, because I didn't like it either when it came out, because I was like, okay, well, this is just way too comedic for me. Mm -hmm. And I just never been into like real comedic horror movies. I am now, not all of them, <laughs> but some I, I can tolerate. And I like it now. I love part two now, and I've grown to love it as well, too. Mm -hmm. um, I love how over the top it is. It's so over the top. Yeah. And, I, and I like that now. Yeah. yeah. And I love... You know, Bill Mosley, he's funny, and yeah. Chop Top's just a cool character. It's all just kind of fun and cool, and I love Caroline Williams, so. Mm -hmm. and the set design of their, like, underground crazy, like, um, layer or whatever you want to call it, like, is just really cool. Mm -hmm. Like, all the lights and, and, like, just, like, the design of that set is super cool. It's like, you know, it's like, so Toby Hooper, Toby Hooper wanted to do something different, and he got money to actually make this movie, so they really just kind of went all out. I think they... They, I think that my big issue with part two is they spend too much time in like the dinner scene. Like that whole sequence is like really long. Yeah, and I think it's because out. they were like, we spent a lot of money on this and it looks really right. cool. We want to like use it. And it's one of those like classic things where it's like, just show us a little bit of it. Right. And it, it just kind of, it stays on that scene for a really long time. But it's also, I mean, again, it's awesome. Like it's it looks so yeah. cool. I love the design of that set. It's like just a crazy, like just demonic, like playground, you know? can really see like where Rob Zombie got a lot of his influence from yeah. that for sure. And the House of a Thousand, of course. Is. And I think yeah. those are the only ones you watched, though, right, isn't it? What? I don't think, have you, you haven't watched any of the other ones, as far as I know. Like the Texas Chainsaw 3D that I was talking about. In the I don't think I've seen the 3D. But know, we've seen The them. remake. I think you might have seen yeah, the remake. Yeah, I've seen the remake. you know Arlie Ermy. That's who I like in the remake in the new beginning. Mm -hmm. He's so good so good in those I think he really makes those movies I think mm -hmm. so the new Texas Chainsaw will come out Friday on Netflix which is why we're doing Texas Chainsaw oh, yeah. now and I guess we'll watch that and talk about that next week along with the Fun, Fun House. House so we're just going to continue a Toby Hooper thing yeah. <laughs> so we'll have to watch both movies Texas Chainsaw on Netflix and Fun House and we'll All talk right. about both those next week I think I can handle that. I just watched The Fun House the other day. I'll, okay. I'll watch it again. Yeah, now. yeah. I've, I've seen watched that movie a lot. It's good. It's one of my favorites. So, so, yeah, we'll talk about those next week. Have you ever watched The Fun House? I don't You're think going so. to now. Yeah, I don't think you have because I described <laughs> it to you the other day and yeah. it didn't ring a bell, but I think that you'll like it a lot. And it's a standalone movie. There's no sequels. Right, there's yeah. no yeah. sequels at about. all. <laughs> yeah. And it goes along with what we're doing, you know, with it being Toby Hooper, too. You mm. know, so we just continue that. And Did we're going to cult classic. Right. So, yeah. And the te whole Texas Chainsaw thing there, too. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Question. They don't have Texas Chainsaw on Blu-ray, though, do they? Yeah. The original? Do they? Yeah, they do. It's like a... I need it. It's like a 35th or 40th anniversary uh, box set type thing. We can't find it. I don't know. I don't think... I, I feel like I've seen it... I don't think it's, like, limited or anything. Okay. It's just... It's got, like, I a slip it. cover, and it has, like, <laughs> him with, like... It's, like, a red background. It has all the bones and stuff behind him, and oh. it, like, slips out. It's pretty like cool. I have never seen... Okay. Because yeah, I just have this special edition DVD. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's all, all I have for Texas Chainsaw. Yeah, it looks good on Blu-ray. I mean, that's another thing. Just... I love the cinematography of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Like, um... I like how it, gritty it is for back then. I like that. Yeah, it's, it, it looks like really gritty, but it, it's just something about the 70s. Like I always talk about, there's just this like 70s haze that's on all the film stocks. Yeah. Like it just, things just looked better in the 70s. But then, yeah, it's really gritty. But the way that they move the camera in that movie is awesome. Like, like there's a really famous shot where it like it pushes up to the, to the front door, but it like goes like under the um, swing set okay yeah that shot's like so cool and then there's some like like this really cool like panning shots uh like around like the junkyard and stuff just they move the camera really cool in that i movie. do have a question about the movie that i always question in my brain so when at the end when the the truck driver you know they get out and then he gets back in the truck and they just get in to go to the other side and still run out why don't they just stay in the truck and go did it could it not turn back on? <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? The semi. The semi truck. That truck. In the driver. original one? Yeah. 
you know, he jumps out to get the he girl. He jumps out to get the girl, and then they get in the truck, and you're thinking, okay, they're, they're about to get in the truck, shut the door, and then they're good. No, mm-hmm. they just go out the other door, the other side, and go back out. It's like, why yeah. didn't they stay in the oh, truck? Oh, yeah, and just leave. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's because he was there already, you know, hitting the door, but. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't go out the other yeah, side yeah. <laughs> and just keep running because now here he comes again. <laughs> I always yeah. thought that. I'm like, what are they doing? <laughs> I would have just pushed the girl out and then drove off. <laughs> <laughs> just kept going. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Um, Has anybody thought about that? Has anybody? <laughs> It's a horror movie. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, you can't just get away. Yeah. You can't do anything that makes sense. Like um, that was another. That was a funny thing in the uh, in part three when. He, do you know the actor's name? Do from Dawn of the Dead. I don't know why I'm drawing a Ken blank. Ken Forey. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when um, he's they're like fighting on the ground and he almost overpowers Leatherface mm-hmm. and then Leatherface ends up overpowering him and he's got the chainsaw like about to chop off his head like he's on all fours he's like got him and then the girl's like hey it's me you want and he's like okay and just chases her it's like right. yeah he's like what's going on I would just finish the job real right. quick yeah. just the guy who <laughs> almost like beat you the guy who almost just killed you maybe just finish him off and then chase the girl yeah, yeah. But you know he's a child. Yeah, he's little. that was another <laughs> right. like a really it's creepy funny. thing. And oh man, like how creepy is that little girl with the like little skeleton baby doll? Yeah, and yeah. He goes in the room creepy. and she just like there's just skeletons all over the ground mm-hmm. and just like the little like tea set like the little like you know like like all she does is and just, she looks normal. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> but like as soon, but it's the other thing. Is she gets to that house. You see the house. It's like, dude, that's the house. Like, who else would yeah. live here? Like, you have to know that that's where these people are located. Right. And goes in. There's like a little girl at the top of the stairs. It's like, uh, uh-uh, uh, get out. Yeah. Like, get out. Like, so that's just that classic. Like, it's a horror movie. You gotta yeah. put her up there. Yeah. But that is so creepy when like she has like a little baby skeleton with like hair on it and then the mom is like holding it later in her wheelchair like i know that, it's so that, weird just the idea of like a baby skeleton like doll yeah and knowing that it's real but what i was thinking of is how creepy is it when she's like ma- well, well when like viga morton's mortensen's like however you say his name is like um maybe we'll let junior have some fun with her he makes the like prettiest babies or whatever like cutest babies like they just like that's how they just keep this crazy insane Mm -hmm. family like this just like 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 incestual cannibalistic (laughs) family and it's like we'll let like the most far gone of us all like have his way with her so we can get just like the most just insane psycho baby like (laughs) and it's like that's where that little girl came from obviously and it's just like oh it's some fucked up shit (laughs) it's just there's no other word for it like it's just like oh man like (laughs) it's gross you know (laughs) it is the cool thing about all of the movies how they portray the family Mm -hmm. in each movie and the actors they get you know to do it it's a little bit different the same but a little bit different too Mm -hmm. so i do like that in all of the movies seeing how they portray the family in the movies yeah so yeah, it's, it's scary. It's and just like the... Everybody's creepy in their own way. Yeah, yeah. They're just all just psychotic. Like, it's just really nasty. But like... I'm excited they, for you to watch part four then. Yeah, I want to watch part four. Okay. For sure. <laughs> I, I was planning on it, but you know, I just didn't get around to it. But um, when they have him like hung up by his Achilles tendons and he's still oh, alive. Yeah. yeah. What did what Achilles lever did they tendon. pull? Yeah. I didn't understand that part. When like like I, I guess that kills him somehow because she was all like uh, like like we're gonna do it and they pull this like lever and then right. like, yeah I don't know what that was yeah I don't know either it's a little weird it, it seems odd. like they just didn't get a shot or something and they were like ah oh, whatever we'll just it, they'll yeah, get it you know edit it right but that that is just a cr- like one of the scariest things ever to be hung by your Achilles tendons <laughs> and and just about to get it's making mine hurt cut right up. now thinking yeah. about it. Yeah. Oh, I have a weird <laughs> phobia. One, is that one thing in movies I can't yeah, fingernails too. Like people fingernails pop ugh. Yeah, I don't watch. Yeah. <laughs> I've talked about it all the time but like I can't watch. I have fake nails so I know how that feels. It's not good. Mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> like right, I'm already doing this yeah. like like yeah, I, you do this. I'll do that for a while now I'm just thinking about same it. Same way the Achilles and fingernails. Mm. Yeah. Like I don't again I, I don't like gory stuff. I, I hate the Hostel oh, I movies, love stuff. but um, <laughs> that part in the first hostel where he like slashes hostel, her Achilles yeah. and then tells her to, good, that she can leave and it just splits. Good example. That's what traumatized me about the Achilles tendons forever was mm-hmm. that shot. Yep. Mm. That's yeah. so weird. Me too. Yeah. Oh, well, it's freaking gross. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But just knowing you're about to get like chopped up for dinner and just hang in there and yep. you can probably feel the pain, but you can't do anything about it. And and then her sitting there and that's like her boyfriend. She gets like nailed to the thing. It's mm. just like, it's just some gross stuff, <laughs> but like, like genuinely scary, you know? Stuff, yeah. And, but yeah, like part three is a movie that like I'll buy and I'll watch again. And even though it is really gory yeah, and not, gross. Not a lot of people talk about that one enough, I don't think. Yeah, I think it's good. So. I think it's, a, like I said, a good combination of like, it has like humor from the second one, but it's mm -hmm. not over the top with humor. And then it's really dark like the first one, but mm -hmm. then they added all this gore that you don't get in the first one. And um, the acting's all really good. I like the character, like all the characters. I mean, not yeah, I don't I don't like you know the bad people, but you know right. what I mean. Like but they're no, good characters. Yeah. But then even the the couple, like they do a good job when they're just driving around of making me like I like those characters and I don't want to see them get hurt. Right. And I think that that I I I don't like when horror movies make characters intentionally like shitty and make you not like them, so then you want to see them get killed. Like I don't enjoy that. Mm -hmm. I like it more if. I like the character and I don't want them to get killed and then they do it right. has a way bigger impact yeah you know totally. like and again I don't like killing and stuff so it's like I don't I don't like enjoying I want to be afraid of the bad guy I don't want to like in like the bad guy right. I don't like you know like that's why I don't like the Rob Zombie Halloween movies they make him like sympathetic and you want to like like the bad guy and watch him kill people and it's like that's not scary to me <laughs> there you go are you excited for the new movie then the no? new Texas Chainsaw yeah, the I I'll stay completely open-minded. I highly doubt I'll like it, but I'm not going to go in thinking I'm not going to like it. But did you watch the trailer? Did you watch no, the trailer? No, I don't watch the trailer. Trailers. Okay. Yeah. I, so I was about to ask you what you thought of his look so I think far. the poster is cool. You think? Okay. Yeah, I think the poster is cool, but I don't trust Netflix at all. <laughs> they've, they've taken they've taken so many things that I love so much and just completely they ruined it. it. Yeah. Like, like, I mean, like... I. You can count on. I need like two hands to count all the things that I love that they completely just ruined. No, I I, I get so it. So I don't trust, trust them. I've been watching documentaries on there. That's what I've been watching. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I love documentaries and I, I I like the platform for it and all that. I like back in the day when Netflix first came out and it was like a DVD thing. That was really cool. Yeah, because you would just set up a queue, and I'm sure maybe they still do this. I don't know, but like you would just say, you know, like I would have like 50 movies just in order. And then they'd send it to me. I'd watch it. I'd put it back in the mail. And then the next one in line would just show up. And that was awesome. That was like film school. Oh, you know? yeah. And, but now I think, I think with, all, with like the streaming and everything, there's just like too many options right in front of you that you can play right now. And then I just can't really, I don't know. I'm just the old guy I know no, about that stuff. No, I agree. But no, I agree with you. Yeah, it just. I get it. I liked it better that way. It, you know, it was, it, it was like a, you know, but you went from like, having a blockbuster or like a Hollywood video and like going out and like seeing the things and like picking that one thing and taking it home and you're putting it in. It's like, that's the movie that we're mm -hmm. watching. It just, it treated it. It was more important. You know, yeah. now when you have a million things to choose from, nothing's special anymore. Yeah. But I um, end up just sitting there going, what I want to watch. And I do that for like yeah. an hour and then I give up. <laughs> yeah. But, I, but it's a good point though. Where I love the documentaries. Cause that's not yeah. something you would like usually maybe like, I'm, this is going to be the one thing I'm going to take home and watch. But I love like the documentaries and the docu series. So like, like, you mm -hmm. know, like I like that. That's one thing I really do love about like digital and all that is there's been so many awesome documentaries that have come out because of it because you can just shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and edit it later and make an entire season of right. of stuff like and it can come out quickly and so like i i like that you know but but again i hope i like it and it is a movie right it's not a show it's right. a movie. texas chainsaw yeah. yeah yeah it's a movie yeah because so. sally comes back have you seen how long it is no that's how what would worry it? me i don't know Oh. <laughs> I, I mean, again, I, I, I'm, no, talking to, I'm talking I about know. it now because we're interested that in I'm it not and all sure. that, but I, I try I to I did like, watch the trailer once and that's all I watched. And the only thing I took away from the trailer is I'm not sure if I like the way he looks. Yeah. That's the only thing so far. But I'm, I mean, I don't know. I have to watch it. Maybe it'll work. Yeah. He's like a silhouette in the poster, right? It just yeah. has those like the feels. Yeah, I, I think the poster is cool. One hour, 23 minutes. Oh, okay. okay. That's not bad. All right. Okay. That's cool. I'm on board with I that. I can deal with that too. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like two hours and 23 yeah, I minutes. Hope not. No, I don't need two hours and 23 minutes of it. Yeah. Uh, Hall Halloween 3. Um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 um, was, it was really well paced and, and really quick. 
it almost felt like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre episode, like oh, okay. which which I yeah. guess it kind of works too. And we've talked about where it's kind of like each one it has like the vibe of the others but it's pretty much kind of like a standalone its own thing mm -hmm. and it had all these nods to the others but it was you know it wasn't like a direct sequel to them right it kind of seemed like they could just make like an anthology thing with like like the sawyer family and i guess maybe they, they do could. that is kind yeah, of what they do kind of right is, yeah yeah it's, it is and i like that about yeah. it you know it's its own little you know st story it's over or whatever and um i know leatherface doesn't get talked about enough though either Everybody's always talking about Freddy, Jason, Michael. And oh, yeah. A lot of people don't talk about Leatherface. Yeah, a lot of people say that it's not a slasher. It is to me. I get what it they mean. It is to me, but I, I know, and I get it, too. I don't know. It's just one of those things. I get it, too, but... Yeah, but it's still... It kind of is. It for me, like, isn't. Yeah. Yeah, I think that it is. I, I guess, I mean, it's definitely a thriller, like a horror mm -hmm. thriller. Like, I guess, like, I'm not an expert, but the distinction is kind of, like... If it could happen in the way I think about it, anyways, if it could happen in real life, then it's a thriller. And if there's like um, fantastic elements to it, or there's a word that I'm looking for, but yeah, um, supernatural. If they go to space yeah. anytime. Yeah, right. Yeah, if it, or or there's a monster. You know, if there's anything supernatural in it, then it can, it's kind of like a, you know horror or whatever. Right. And, but then like there's supernatural stuff in all of the slashers. Like if if they're if they can't die, then they're supernatural. So right. it's like, I would still consider that like horror or thriller or whatever. I, I would call it a slasher, even though it's this like tourist trap type of thing, right. which that's another movie that we should do sometime. Yes. Tourist trap. That I one, agree. that took the place of Texas Chainsaw Massacre as my favorite like slasher. But again, there's, there's it's supernatural little, stuff because yeah. he has telekinesis and all that right. and blah, blah, blah. So it's like, there's always these weird little gray areas and you know, titles are lame, but Tourist Trap is such a good movie. Such a good movie. Yeah, yeah we'll have to talk about that one. <laughs> <laughs> we need a mask for that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that would be Somebody, awesome. Somebody, hello. <laughs> yeah. That's all one of the right. coolest posters of all time. It is, though, isn't it? Yeah. What's next? Cult Classic. Yeah. We got Cult Classic. We just did the Zach Galligan signing here. That was, that was cool. Yeah, that was a lot fun. of fun. Yeah, and we got... We have a lot of stuff. Uh, we're waiting on JSA to come uh, certify everything, and then that way we can get it up on the site. And, uh, so we got some cool stuff from him. We got what eight by tens. We got the poster. From Eleven Chris by seventeens. Um, Gremlins ultimates. Yeah, yeah. Some ultimates. A pop. Uh, we didn't have a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. Gremlins. Yeah. So. It, but it worked out. It, it was fun. And then, uh, so we'll have that all up on the site this week. I think everybody that came had fun. Thank you for yeah. everybody coming out. Yeah, it was a good time. A little yeah. birthday party, Valentine's party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, so we got Cult Classic coming up next week. Or, yeah. Yeah, that's next week. Yeah. February short. Yeah. You I already drive hate to Texas next week. <laughs> yeah. I already hate paying for rent like in February because yeah. it's like a short month. And then we're gone two of the weekends of the month. So I'm like, damn, I really don't want to pay for mm -hmm. rent. I'm like not at home at all this this month. Yeah. <laughs> but yep. <laughs> and then we've got CJ Graham coming next month. Next month in March 19th. Yep. So um, from one to four. And that's cool because I thought, like, at the end of the CreepyCon, we were talking to CJ Graham and he said that he couldn't come. Yeah. But was he already booked or something and he didn't know? I just don't <laughs> think they know where they're going. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I have 13 shows this year, so I don't I don't think I can do it this year, but maybe next year or whatever. And then, like, next thing I know, Nightmare Toys posts that CJ Graham's going to be here. And I'm like, oh, I guess we were just one of his 13 and he forgot. <laughs> yeah. Because... Uh, I even made Peter. I was like, hey, man, uh, he doesn't know that he's coming right. here. <laughs> and he's like, well, he's booked. So uh, I'm like, well, maybe you should mention it to him. Yeah. And I don't know if he just waited a few minutes and said, okay, I mentioned it to him. Yeah. Or, or if he really did. But, but he'll be he here. assured me he's going to be here. So yeah. <laughs> um, stick around. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he, he's a really nice guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. I had only yeah. met him just then, like that moment when we were talking to him. But he was just kind of like leaving, you know, and yeah, stopped by the booth. Super and nice. He was super cool. Yeah, yeah, he's a nice guy. And, 
so hopefully we'll have a good time well i know we'll have a good time if if he knows he's coming so <laughs> be, we always be have fun. a good time at nightmare toys yeah so we'll have plenty of stuff for him to sign we should have my ask and uh, i know we're gonna have um some of the machetes um and then um we've got pops of course mm -hmm. so so yeah we'll have we should have a good selection of stuff for him to sign and you can bring your own stuff in too so um yeah. i do have a i do have something to say about our signings we do not i cannot stress this enough we do not come up with the prices for the actors oh yeah all the actors come up with their own prices we put on this event for free yeah we're not charging anybody anything for anything so all the autograph prices are the actors prices yeah we don't get a percent of that we, money no like it, usually we end up paying a little bit we don't get any money from that we're at just all. putting this on <laughs> for you guys and we're doing it for free we're not charging you to come in the store we even put a sale on all day when we do this yeah. but some people seem to keep thinking that we make the prices all the time and that we're too high and then want to comment on other social medias that Nightmare Toys is high on their prices for autographs. We don't come up with the prices. These are the actors' prices. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and it's the same it's price. It's so unnerving when people everywhere. comment that. Yeah, yeah. If you, if you go to a convention and go to that person's table, it's going to be the same amount of it's money. Just, they have people set that prices. are obviously clueless on what's going on and never go to conventions and don't right. ever do this, and they just automatically think that we are. Yeah. Yeah. And these probably are our prices. For probably these don't listen to this podcast either. But probably not. But it makes <laughs> me better. It makes me feel better to say it though because yeah. it's so unnerving. And then to comment it on our other store stuff big yeah. bang store i mean we own both stores y'all yeah, yeah. Like, nightmare then, toys they're they're ripping us off they're yeah, charging way too much literally says that in big bang thank god y'all yeah. aren't we are the same store and then it ended up being the <laughs> what was funny about that one is it um what's his name was charging the same price same price yeah that zach galligan was and it was like what do you i know i don't even get <laughs> what do you mean people get off and say this <laughs> stuff like please know what you're talking about before you make a comment or a post or whatever on social media well and <sighs> here's the here's the thing if it's too much or you feel like it's too much you can just go i'm not going to that Right. Right. without commenting yeah. you can just not go yeah not pay it not pay the price not do any of that and you don't have to say anything you can just <laughs> not say anything <laughs> it's free but i mean if you go but i mean it's just it's weird if i got on lamborghini's facebook page and went uh three hundred and fifty thousand dollars for that car is just entirely too much i can go get a toyota for Twenty five thousand. Just just go get the Toyota. You don't <laughs> have to tell Lamborghini their car is too expensive. Right. It's just too expensive for you. You right. just don't have the money to do it. Right. So if if that's not your priority to come get an autograph for whatever amount it is, you can just not go. Yeah. Just, but it's not nightmare toys yeah. making the price. It doesn't have anything to do with us. We're literally doing this for free. Yeah. Free for y'all. Yeah. Not for us <laughs> to do this yeah. for y'all. And then we, it, oh, it's just yeah. so and unnerving it, people. People, that. I mean, again, that same kind of person, like not, we're not going to get into crazy details of how this stuff works, but it's like, they just have no idea how it works. No, they don't. And so, you know, if, if, it, if we could get a celebrity to come and sign stuff for $20, that would be better for us. If yeah, it was, if can. it was $10, that would be better for us. Like, <laughs> be better for everybody, it, it, but I mean that just yeah. Again, not how it, it works. just it, it, it it's not like we're they like have to we want to charge for their time and yeah. What if they doing. if they want to do a signature for two hundred dollars, they get two hundred dollars and we get zero dollars. Yeah. We don't make any more, you know, yeah. based yeah. on what they they charge. Yeah, no, it's just it's not up to us. And there's always every single time there's always at least one person that goes, I don't, I just can't even believe they're charging for an autograph, like okay what do you do for a living i just can't believe you charge for that yeah 
If you were in a movie in the 80s and people wanted to pay you $50 for a signature, you'd be there. Yeah. I'd be there. <laughs> yeah. Of course Anybody who thinks that nobody charges for autographs, I mean, where are you at? Where have you been this whole time? Everybody, I mean, all actors charge for autographs. Yeah, yeah, actors you know, for sure. I mean, I every, I mean, at conventions, at, at events, yeah. whatever, at I comic mean, cons and stuff like that. Like, where, like, um, what are you doing? comic writers and and illustrators, they don't usually charge. That's because they're trying to sell books. Like, oh yeah, but like a, an actor from a movie, like. They don't have a book to sell. They have like themselves and and a signatures. You want a signed thing that you might even go and flip on eBay. That's how people don't understand. Like, well, why is it fifty dollars for an eight by ten, but it's you know sixty or seventy for like a pop? And it's like because you can flip a pop for a hundred, two hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. And it's like the the you know artists or whoever's signing like knows that, and so they need to make some more money from that too. Because otherwise yep. they can just sit at home and sign a bunch of pops and go on eBay and sell them on eBay and probably make even more money. But right. they want it to be personal. They want to meet you and, and have that, you know, interaction and all that. Right. That's what makes it special. And so, I mean, if you don't want to pay for it, just just don't come. Right. Hopefully you can find them at a Starbucks and bother them there. Right. Yeah. Chase them around with all your stuff and see if you can get something for free. Yeah. God. Yeah, there was that... Um, <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> this is really random. It just made me think of this Kerber enthusiasm episode where he's like, uh, Larry David's like in the locker room of his like golf club or whatever, and there's someone there who's a doctor. Uh-huh. He's like, hey, can you look at this thing for me? Can you look at this? He's like, oh, you know, make an appointment and, and come and see me. And he's like, yeah, but you're here now. Can you just look at this? And he's like, hey, what do you do for a living? He's like, I'm a writer. He's like, hey, next time you're in a hurry, why don't you write me a bunch of shit for free? And he's like. <laughs> He's like, he just gets it. He's like, no, oh, all right, you're right. I'm not going to do that. Like, yeah. <laughs> like leave people yep. alone. Exactly. If you want a signature, show up and pay the price for it. Yeah. Or Texas Chainsaw Massacre is dope. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> and we're going to pay for some autographs in Texas. Yep. Yeah, we will. I, I'm excited to meet Caroline Williams. Me oh, yeah. too. Part two, and she's in so many other horror movies, too. So yeah. I'm really excited to meet her. I haven't met her yet. Me neither. I'm excited to but see it, her. Hey, here's another example. I don't pay for autographs. It's just not the thing that I collect. So I'll probably like walk by and be like, yeah, that's Caroline Williams, and then I'll keep walking. Right. I'm not going to go up to her table and like bother her and ask her for a free selfie and all that stuff. It's like, you know, like I, I know what that costs to have an interaction, so I'm just, you know... I'm not willing to pay it, so I'm not going to do it. Well, I want but an I'll autograph, so you can come like, with me. There we go, yeah. <laughs> yeah you can be the I'm willing to pay for an autograph because I know you have to pay for them, and <laughs> I don't care how much it is because I want to meet her, yeah. and I want her autograph, so yeah. you can come with me then. All right, sounds good. <laughs> there you go. So getting in, that's the other way. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, anything else? I think that's it. I think we've covered it all. So what? Next week we're going to talk about the new Texas Chainsaw and the Funhouse. The Funhouse, mm-hmm. yep. I'm gonna watch it on my big new TV. <laughs> we go. may have to. Well, it won't matter to anybody else, but we may have to do this on Tuesday because we have to leave for Texas. Leaving duh. for Texas on Wednesday. Yep. So. Okay. All right. Well. Um, go watch Texas Chainsaw. Yeah. Go watch all that. And then go watch all of us and watch all of our videos. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> Mask Monday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, all right. Well, let's get out of here then, guys. I will see you next week. Bye. Bye.